My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Speaking of dumb, FedEx is with us. Jake, how are you? Jimmy, let me be the last to tell you and all the other dads, happy Father's Day, Father's Day Wednesday. Leslie celebrated. Uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We had a big weekend, and I'm ready to, like, get back in to the middle of summer. Middle? Start. Middle. Isn't it technically not even summer hasn't yet? Hasn't started. Yeah. Oh, huge news. Today's the first day of summer. It's the first day of summer. Zach just let us know. Zach's kind of like, you know how, do you ever watch Teletubbies and the sun was like a real person? That's kind of like Zach. I have him as the groundhog. The summer groundhog. Okay. He lets us know. He lets us know when summer's here. Can you tell me about the sports? James, we crowned a champion. Your Golden State Warriors. You're a Bay Area guy. The champion. We are the champions. Jack, make the frog talk. I'm a frog. And it's their fourth title. They're like a dynasty. That's cool. We kind of like all the guys. And we get the classic. Clay Thompson had one too many daiquiris. Caught an edge on his ice skate. Fell into a fan. Happens every celebration now. Every celebration. And Draymond swore. <gasps> what? He said, like, uh, fuck you. That's kind of the sports. They're playing hockey and stuff. Whatever. Go avalanche. Really? I'm a lightning guy. I know. Give me that frog back. <laughs> Jimmy, what was this almost a breakdown you were telling me about? You were on the train talking loudly on your phone. Jake, you're going to love this. Yeah, it was the quiet car. People weren't happy. But the devils are jumping over babies again in Spain. <laughs> After a two-year hiatus, the festival is back. Check out this video as people lie there babies with yeah. born within 12 months on mattresses and a man dressed as a devil jumps over them. This is a celebration in uh, uh, the Spain. celebration of El Calacho, a mythical figure that represents the devil. And what he does is he runs into town, he chases the teenagers with a whip, and then jumps over the babies, which cleanses them of their original sin. I didn't have this happen to me. I just had water poured over my head by an old, bald, like, crazy man. Honestly, not that far off if you really think about it. But yeah, it's it's one of those things. It's it's kind of a tough watch when you actually see someone jumping over a baby. It feels yeah, a well, little there's unnecessary. there's one baby that's older, like probably closer to the 10 month range, right. not excited about it, crying. And the mom is like, stay back down. We're cleansing your original sin. And the reason we're telling this story is we feel bad for the two years of babies that weren't allowed to do this. Yeah. You know, there was two crops of babies that didn't let grown men jump over them with the risk of a whack. And people have been hit. They said no babies have ever been hurt, but some of the devils have pulled their hamstring. Let me yeah. take a moment real quick. Box me in like a four by three serious uh, speech. Think about the concept of original sin. Oh. Maybe the most fucked up thing people say. And there's a little clip at the Your end. Your baby was born a sinner. The devil tastes The fuck? Chases some teens, and that kind of looks like a good time, to be honest. And then there is a little clip of an older lady at the end just getting hit by the whip from the Oh, devil. the devil went after the older lady? She kind of wanted it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to bet on which baby got jumped over the most, you'd probably do that DraftKings. DraftKings. A Asterix, probably not. Asterisk, probably not. Asterisk, probably not. Yeah. But you could bet on other stuff. Like more sports, Jim, where your guy, Ricky Lightfoot, becomes the first human in 15 years. Name? To win man versus horse race. Three, two, two one. one. 8.1. 10. 10. Yeah. This is nominative determinism to a T. Your favorite. Ricky Lightfoot would become a champion racer had no options obviously he's a trail runner i don't understand this he beat the horses it's an epic 22.5 mile <laughs> i might have read the epic part <laughs> i guess i don't truly believe that in my heart it's a 22.5 mile challenge i guess what else is funny like ricky didn't know he won when he crossed the finish line ricky says he was awake for 29 hours before the race and had arrived in the world just two hours ahead of the race so that's cheating. And we haven't really engaged in this too much recently in our weekly dumb, but he is at Ricky Lightfoot, so maybe tweet at him like, great job, man. Great job. Loved you on the weekly dumb. Loved you on, yeah, Twitter. Really yeah, at off. Ricky Lightfoot. Also, how'd the horses lose? I don't know how they do with distance. Do horses have to, like, relax? I don't know. I've only seen Hidalgo. Gotta stop referencing Hidalgo. It's a good movie. Jim, this not sports 
Again, you call me on the train. You're screaming. Alberta, oh. Canada, Calgary. So they needed a jury, and I guess this is a rule that they don't do a lot, but the sheriff went into the food court of the mall and just subpoenaed people, I guess, to become jurors in a case, and they had to leave the mall or be arrested and then be a jury. What I'm concerned about in this story is that I thought juries were supposed to be uh, a lot of different people that represent the community. Right. Everybody that eats lunch at the mall is of the same ilk. Right. Daytime mall lunchers. I can't have a whole jury be all daytime mall, well, mall lunchers because that's not my brethren. I'm not doing that. You're right. The jury was originally created to get a mass consumption of the people, but like jury duty is not real. So that's the jury duty. <laughs> that's the jury duty. That's the jury duty. <laughs> Haven't been this excited for a employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. Jim, we love passion. And man, did this guy have it in droves. Ref Dan. Ref Dan. We had a floorball tournament. It'll be released in late July, yeah. uh, the first episode. So you got to wait a little bit. And we had an official floorball, which is floor hockey, but a cooler version. Ref fly in to ref all of the games. And he was awesome. My hands got super cut up. Damn, dog. Yeah. But good job, Ref Dan. Oh, he's a big Weekly Dumb fan. Yeah. 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 That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. How about that? Just bet $5 on any game and you get $150 in free bets no matter what, win or lose. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code JOMBOY. New customers can make any $5 MLB bet and get $150 in free bets no matter what. That's promo code JOMBOY only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. MLB trademarks used with permission. My seventh grade math teacher served jury duty on a gang situation. How'd it turn out? She, they uh, ruled that it was a gang related shooting. And she was really pretty. I had a huge crush on her. Seventh grade? Seventh grade. She also caught me cheating. That's a big crush time. On your girlfriend? No, on a test. I know a kid in third grade that, like, kissed the teacher's leg. That's really weird in hindsight, huh? Yeah. <laughs> her name was Teresa something. Okay. I used to find her on Facebook. Back when I was in, like, high school, when Facebook hey. became. All right. Yeah, I had a huge crush on her. I'm still, I was friends with some teachers on Facebook. Cool. All right. Try to fucking one-up me all the time. All right. <laughs> I wasn't friends with her. Mostly Spanish teachers. She was uh, Latin. <laughs> I think. I don't know. We were in Illinois. Maybe not. What's Illinois got to do with that? She had her bangs dyed blonde. She was probably, like, 24 years old. Right. No, it's one of those funny things when you grow up and you Maybe she had a crush on me, too. No, no. Hard no from Zach, too. She didn't get me in trouble. Why don't she call me cheating? She just said, don't do it again. That's fine. College teacher, also, same thing. Yeah. She never crushed me. I didn't have a crush on her. You and the college teacher. No, I didn't have a crush on her at all. She couldn't, you couldn't even compare her to Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> I never would, I don't think. Oh, well, uh, they're both teachers. Both teachers, yeah. Probably would have So been you friends. just compared them. I couldn't even compare them. Be like comparing you and a rock. Happens. Does happen. <laughs> Happens. Throw me in a body of water. 